Finance Minister Inoko Dongguana delivered the last national budget of the Sixth Democratic Administration at the Cape Town City Hall this afternoon. In his speech, Gordon reveals that global economic growth is forecast to increase from 3.1% this year to 3.2% in 2025, due to the growth in the United States and several large emerging economies. Even though the case may be, Gordon says South Africa's near-term growth remains crippled by lower commodity prices and structural constraints because of weaker than expected outcomes in the third quarter of 2023. Global growth is forecast to increase from 3.1% this year to 3.2% in 2025. The moderate improvement is due to growth in the United States and several large economies. There, there are downside risks from potential spikes in the global oil price if the conflict in the Middle East escalates and if growth falters in China the country's largest trading partner. Despite improved global outlook for 2024, South Africa's near-term growth remains hamstrung by lower commodity prices and structural constraints. We estimate real GDP growth of 0,6% in 2023. This is down from 0,8% growth estimated during the medium-term budget policy statement. The revision is due to weaker than expected outcomes in the third quarter of 2023, particularly in household consumption and fixed investment. Now, furthermore, Finance Minister Inokotangwana says government has embarked on a broad structural reform agenda that aims to address challenges that have held back our growth, such as the electricity crisis and unreliable logistics system. This includes a proposed increase in the limit of renewable energy projects that can qualify for the carbon offsets regime from 15 megawatts to 30 megawatts, as well as the introduction of a 2 billion rand conditional grant over the medium term to fund the rollout of smart prepaid meters. When it comes to logistics, Godongwana says Transnet has been provided with a 47 billion rand guarantee facility to support the entity's recovery plan and to meet its immediate debt obligations as part of addressing South Africa's increasingly unreliable logistics system. To promote further investment in renewables, this budget proposes an increase in, in the limit for renewable energy projects that can qualify for carbon offset regime from 15 megawatts to 30 megawatts. In addition to support these efforts, we were introducing a new 2 billion conditional grant over the medium term to fund the rollout of smart prepaid meters. This will begin with the municipalities that have been approved for debt relief. Government has provided Transnet with a 47 billion guarantee facility to support the NTT is recovery plan and meets its immediate debt obligation. Like ESCOM, the guarantees come with conditions. These conditions require Transnet to focus on its core activities and for the entity to introduce private sector partnership. This will improve Transnet's sustainability and support the implementation of the roadmap. roadmap. Now let's stay with the 2024 budget speech. According to the statement by the National Treasury, global inflationary pressures are residing and interest rates are expected to start declining. Senior economist G.A. van der Linde from Oxford Economics Africa weighs in on the overall budget speech. So one of the key takeaways from this year's budget is that Treasury will tap into the gold and foreign exchange contingency reserve account. So what this basically means is 150 billion rand is making its way towards treasury to help um, uh, pay off some debt. Um, treasury has to service the uh, budget deficits it's running and it also has to make good on the debt relief it announced for ESCOM. So this will definitely help in this regard. Treasury was also upbeat about the near-term economic outlook of the economy and so the pre revenue projections also increased. And you know ultimately South Africa's fiscal and debt uh, ratios um, improved quite a lot from the medium-term budget policy statement.